All right, Mr. Charles, we'll make it simple. TT here again. Welcome to another theory video. This theory video is on Cape Computer Science Unit 2. I hope you learned something. Let's go to selection sort now. Selection sort is a little better than a bubble sort because it doesn't compare every single value. What it does is it takes out the first value and then checks to see if it finds something that's smaller. And whatever is whichever one is smaller it will keep track of it and then swap it with the first thing that it, the first value that it had so then it will cut off that because obviously the smallest number will be to the left and then it's going to compare again find the smallest number and then swap with the number that it's on right now which is that and then it's going to compare again to find out if there's something smaller if there's something smaller it will swap and it will keep going up until it cuts off the whole the whole list and that makes it easy Ooh. sorry okay so slow motion now we have the numbers 5, 1, 4, 2, and 8. So I'm going to check this 5. And then I'm going to check through all the numbers. I saw the 1 is the smallest. Cool. I got 4, I have a 2, I have a 8. So therefore the 1 is kept as the smallest. So I'll swap the 5 with the 1. So I already lock off here. So we don't need to worry about what's going on on this side. Because we know the 1 is the smallest. We're going upwards. I have the 5, I'm going to keep the 5 in a space, keep the 5 in my pocket and then I'll be like okay do I have something that's smaller which is the 4, yes that's true, okay so I'll keep track of the 4 and then wait, I have something that's smaller than the 4, let me keep track of the 2 or oh, the next thing is I 8, alright cool, so then the smallest one I have is the 2 so I'm going to swap the 5 with the 2, then I'm going to lock off that side here, after I lock it off now I'm going to now check this 4. So I'm holding this 4 in, in my pocket. And I'm going to check to see is the 5 smaller? No, is the 8 smaller? Good. So there is no swap. So the 4 stays in place because it's obviously lowest. So then I'm going to push up now. And I'm going to do the 5 and the 8. So I'll hold the 5. And then I'm going to check the 8. Is the 8 smaller? No. Good. So therefore, it's organized because I've reached to the last possible value. So there is nothing else to swap. And a selection so it just does that in one one swift movement so the code for a selection sort now is going to be like this um there's a shortened way well i have comments inside of it because the comments are supposed to make it easier to understand but so i have a integer i and an integer j and i have a minimum right that's what i need of course this is the array and this is the size and is the number so my first loop is going to loop through the whole array so i'm going to go up until n minus one because if i have the whole array and the number of um things in the array is five i'm going to have zero one two three four um, let me just erase this here yeah i'm going to have zero one two three four All right good so that means i'm going to n minus one Right, then I have now finding minimum element in an unsorted array. So I'm going to set the minimum ID or minimum location to wherever I is at a point in time, which is location zero. Once I set that to zero, I'm going to have now my second loop. This second loop is what's going to be doing the switching for me or the swapping. So it's going to check to see from location j plus one which is here because I, I i really want to figure out if i go in and swap this value or not so i'll go from j plus one j minus n that good and then i'm going to say if arrj which is lo the location there is less than the minimum id so if this is less than that minimum id because remember i kept track of that minimum id which is this one here at the start 
If it is, then set the minimum ID to G. That means um, I'm going to keep track of where the smallest value is from all of these here. So the whole point of this loop is to keep going up and find the minimum element. Once I find the minimum element, I'll swap the two of them and cool, we're good. That's what happens in our selection sort. So the explanation for selection sort is that you have one loop that does here, you take these comments, then that does that, then it then swaps there. Basically. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.